I'm going to show you how to make rat brushes. In my style of paintings, there's two main brushes that we use. One is a big, regular house painting brush. There's a three-inch uh, soft bristle oil painting, just like you would paint on the side of a house. Use that for a lot of smoothing. And the other special brush is what I call a rat brush. And these are rat brushes. Um, basically, what they are is regular brushes, as you can see. They were cut up and chopped up so that they're all ragged and jagged at the edges. When the bristles are rough like this, it spreads out as you paint along with it. Instead of just like a smooth brush where you get a straight line, you want something that's ragged when you're making like clouds or sea foam or something to that nature. So something like this would be good for like a um, tight areas or like a sea foam, you know, the foam on the, on the crest. Uh, this would also, these would be more for like clouds, doing like big fluffy clouds. And this rat brush right here is excellent for laying down shine or glitter on, uh, on water surface. And what you would do is just dip this in the paint, just get it on the edges, and you just drag it across, and it makes its own little streaks go in there, and you just barely brush it, and it comes out really fine, just like the painting you see here. As you can see in the painting, you can see the the streaks on the water, it looks like, looks like it's glittering, and this brush is excellent for that. So now, to, to give you an idea of how to make a rat brush, and they all work pretty much the same from the small ones to the large ones, it's the same thing. We're going to cut it up. Now, the main thing is you can see how thick this brush is. We want to get that down real thin. So the first thing we do is just take a simple razor blade, and you just cut the top of that. Just go back and forth until you cut a lot of those bristles off. Now don't press too hard, you don't want to cut all the bristles off, but you want about half of what's down there. Shave that off. Take a look at it a little bit more. Okay, just a little more. And that would be a good starting point right there. And maybe just a little bit more. We want that real thin. We don't want it too thick because we don't want a lot of paint on this. This is really just for a little texture. Yeah. Okay, now once we get quite a bit cut off, you can see how we, we took a lot off of the, the back side over here, so it's, it's, we've cut down about halfway or a little bit better on here. And then what we start to do is we don't want this, again, flat, because that's not how we, we want it. We want it more like this here, where it's all jagged and roughed up. So what you do is just start cutting in. Usually what I try to do is I'll get, again, let me show you this one here. See where you have a fine point? Now this point right here is going to be is important because that'll be like if you have a tip of, uh, say, foam, and then you want it to get like, like a tiny part and then get in fatter. So you're going to just barely touch it with this, and then the more you press down, the more bristles you get. So you want a point and you want it to come down, but again, you want it all jagged. So the best way to do that with any kind of brush, is you could have it either come to a point in the middle or come to a point on the end. I generally like to have them a little bit more toward the end. So again, just start cutting away on this. However, as you're cutting the brush, the brush will determine where the point should be. Sometimes it's on the front, Sometimes it's in the back, sometimes it's in the middle. As you're cutting along, you'll watch the, to where we're starting to get more of a shape. And something like this, now you've got a nice edge going here, I would cut more on this side here. You know, just kind of follow along how the brush is, as you're cutting it, how it's, it's taking shape. And now just go back and forth to take out brushes, you know, uh, in the middle, 
just to make it real, real ratty. And just keep checking it every now and then. You don't want to keep cutting and have end up with nothing down here. You want a longer pieces, but where it gets wider here, you want to cut in to where it becomes more frayed out. Basically, you want to just thin the brush down. And again, sometimes you cut in here, sometimes out here, so that you, you get a mixture. So basically, it looks chopped up and like a rat brush. But they work great for foam and for clouds. Okay. Now. It's starting to take shape now. And as you can see now, it's, it's, it's thin enough, and yet it's all ragged out. And this is going to be a great brush for doing foam like this. Where, see how it's all, it's like abstract up here? You just take your brush and you just put it in your paint, and you just dab at it like that, and the bristles, because they're so messed up, they were just going all over the place rather than you know, a flat brush that would just give you a flat stroke. You don't want that. You want more of a free form. And that's why this brush would work out great. And that's basically how you make red brushes.